In our chart of rundown, Tim Bigham of Options Insider joins you now to get our day rolling along here. And what do you think, Tim? Breakout or breakdown for this market? Yeah, we are right at that kind of, you know, critical area here. S&P's right at, you know, approaching all-time highs. We got the VIX looking like a last, you know, 12 handle on it. So interesting point in the market. We'll wait and see. Valuations are high. Interest rates certainly looking like they're staying low, especially, you know, post-jobs number, which was dismal. Let's talk about some of the troubled names in the market. It. Starting with Valiant, had a horrible day yesterday. Is this stock a buy at these levels? I think it's interesting at these levels, and I certainly think the implied volatility of the options, or the price, if you will, makes it a covered call candidate if you are going to you know, own it here. So I kind of like buying the stock lightly, selling some out-of-the-money calls, very rich option premium. You can defray about 15% of your overall costs by selling uh, this month's at-the-money options. So for people who are not interested in an option, strategy with Valiant. What would be a target price that you would put on that stock, both from the top and the bottom? Yeah, absolutely. You know, around here trading, uh, you know, around the 22 level. Mm -hmm. I certainly look, this is a volatile stock, so I like to position size smaller to account for the volatility. So somewhere around that 30 level would be my target to the upside. And if it breaks 20 convincingly, get out and take your loss and move on. Small losses is, is very good in trading. Another stock that I know you're watching is Apple. What are you seeing there? Yeah, Apple, we're actually seeing super high level of complacency. Again, the options market really, really quiet here. And normally that signifies maybe a top in the stock. That kind of Warren Buffett adage, you know, be fearful when others are greedy, applies to implied volatility. So I'm cautious on Apple here. It's approaching 100. We're looking at, you know, bad earnings came out on that, and the stock's 10% higher. And the market still digesting that jobs number, and so far the market's doing okay. Yeah, absolutely. We'll wait and see. You know, it's that trade off again. Valuations, price to sales, arguably the highest ever. So almost the most expensive market ever versus interest rates at the cheapest they've been. It's that dichotomy, which way it plays out, I'll wait and see. The banks, do you stay in or get out? I think uh, those are ones I would absolutely look be taking profits. I mean, interest rates I don't think are heading higher anytime soon. The bank rally was kind of predicated back when the Fed's going to raise in June. I think that's off the table. I think July's off the table. I think this whole year, to be honest, might be off the table. So the bank rally, I think, may be overdone given that. Okay, good to have you here. Thank you. You bet, anytime, Andrew.